hello again. So this luggage doesn't belong to me. My luggage is actually lost, and this is someone else's. Let me explain. A couple months ago, I went shopping at America's only lost luggage store. And when I posted the video about it, there were a lot of concerns in the comment section from people that were like, how do we know that the airlines aren't purposely losing your luggage? to then sell it to the store. There's only one way I could think of to find out, and that's to lose my luggage on purpose. What's something that's not illegal but feels illegal? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I actually lost three bags. We're going all in on this experiment. So today we're gonna find out, did I get my luggage back? Was anything missing from my bags? And if so, are those items going to end up at the unclaimed baggage store? But in the meantime, I have somebody else's luggage that we're gonna go through. And I don't want to spoil it for you, but there are some very unique and personal finds in here. Step one of this little experiment was to find out which airline is most likely to lose your luggage. Envoy Air, which I had no idea what that was. It's actually a sister company of American Airlines, which American Airlines wasn't too far behind on that board. And the next logical step was to find the cheapest American Airlines flight I could. And it was a disaster. So we were supposed to leave at like noon and they delayed our flight until 7 p.m. And then our returning flight was supposed to be at 8 p.m. So that doesn't exactly add up. Not <laughs> all why. tickets are eligible for <laughs> refund. Oh my gosh, if they don't refund this, I'm gonna lose my mind. Luckily, we did get our money back. We had some Delta credit, so we ended up booking a super cheap Delta flight instead. And with Delta, there there's slightly less of a chance of something bad happening to our bags, but we're gonna see. So when a bag goes unclaimed, after supposedly a few months of trying to find the owner, it ends up in a little store in Alabama. It's actually not a little store at all. It's actually, it's gigantic. She's a mammoth. Of course. In the video I did where I go to the actual store, I get into more of how that works, but 70% of the store is all stuff that came out of people's suitcases. There are some really unique things and really personal things that end up there. And it's kind of sad, but also, that's what attracts me so much to the store because it's not your regular thrift store. I mean, think about it. When you travel, you usually travel with some of your favorite things. But the other cool thing about the store is they actually donate like a third of the stuff that comes through. Here we go. I figured some of the main places that people probably lose their luggage is baggage claim, which is where this little beauty's going. In the overhead bin, which is where we're leaving this colorful little number. And then in a security bin, which is what's gonna happen to this backpack. I also wanted to put items in these bags that are pretty recognizable. So if we end up seeing them in the unclaimed baggage store later, we know exactly where they came from. So in my checked suitcase, I put this absolutely ridiculous Cardi B remake dress because I was gonna donate it, but who's gonna wear this. It's getting lost today. I also wanted to put a couple little things of value in there. So I have a Tiffany box and then I put just like a piece of super broken cheap jewelry in it. I don't know. I thought it looked pretty believable. And then I sprinkled some cash in the bag as well. In my carry-on or the bag that I'm going to leave in the overhead bin, I put in these dumb leggings. They were $500 on Etsy. Uh, maybe someone at the unclaimed store will fall in love with them. And then I also threw in this gold necklace, which is very cheap. I don't know. It might fool someone. Snuck some cash into that bag as well. And for my last bag, it's another carry-on that I'm gonna be taking through security and leaving there. I'm putting these wish leggings in there. <laughs> I put some cash in an inside pouch of this backpack as well. We also slipped some contact information into these suitcases, which if the person that gets a hold of it has no intention of returning, they're not even gonna bother with it. But if someone's trying to return it to us, we have to give them something, you know? And off to the airport we went. If I get arrested because of this, I don't know, I guess Leo's getting upgraded to main host. It's a box. <laughs> Sorry, I kind of tricked you. It doesn't actually come in a suitcase. If you want to do that, you have to like actually go do it in store. This isn't sponsored, by the way. I spent my own money on this. At, like I said, I'm just fascinated by this store. Okay, our first little treasure. Oh, this is brand new. Oh no. I love trying to figure out like the story behind the people that lost this stuff. And this one, she was 100% on her way to a rave. Looks like it was originally $29.99. I got it for $9.53. Sorry, Lisa. I hope you found a new Coachella outfit. Naturally, I always check the activewear section because people travel with their good activewear. Oh, <gasps> stop it. This is brand new too. Okay, this is a Lululemon tank top. It's the off and running tank. It was $54 and I got it for $32. And then to go with it, Beyond Yoga leggings, also brand new with tags. Tag says $99, but I got them for $53.99. 
the first stop was security. Let me tell you, I was panicking. So if they are to come chasing after me, like, ma'am, you left your bag. I don't think I could lie. I really don't. <laughs> but I managed to get through and ditch that puppy. <laughs> Here's the thing though. I don't think stuff that's left at security or in the actual airport is going to end up at unclaimed. I think that that actually becomes property of the government, which there are government sites you can go to that auction off the craziest things. Everything from jewelry to cars to like equipment. I was actually gonna do a video about it, but then I noticed for all these clothing auctions, most of it was coming from the police station. That makes me uncomfy. Like who did this stuff belong to? Anyway, so I think that that's where this stuff is gonna end up. Oh, Urban Outfitters. I had no idea that's where this was from. I got it for 11 bucks. Oh my gosh, this one's Urban Outfitters too. I got this one with these tigers on it also $11. They have so much designer stuff. It's really sad, actually. I would be very sad if I lost my designer shoes on a flight. Okay, these aren't new with tags, but they literally look brand new. So these are some coach sandals. They literally look like they haven't been worn. They're not dirty at all. And they were $44.99 as all. The blue bag. We got this one checked in, all right. And when we landed, we went to the baggage claim to make sure that it showed up okay. It did. And off we went without it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I almost feel bad. Like I kind of want whoever's dealing with my bags to just keep the money that we hid in it because I'm such an inconvenience You would think that with these bags They would definitely contact you because it had the luggage tag on it So I'm wondering if another common reason that a lot of bags go missing is because the tag got damaged or ripped off It's just it's actually not very common these days in the last decade Even though more people than ever are traveling the amount of mishandled and lost bags has actually decreased by almost half 25 million suitcases get lost or mishandled each year and 99.96 seven are reunited with their owner, but about 0.03% or 7,500 bags are never reunited with their owner. Now it doesn't mean it doesn't really suck if you end up being part of that 0.03% that never sees your bag again. And if it does happen to you, of course, file a claim and try to get that money. I heard that they'll reimburse up to like $3,300 worth of stuff. You do have to do some negotiating though, in my experience with airlines or else they'll try to give you like $50 and move on. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh. So obviously they have more than just clothes, everything from electronics to like random houseware. This is Leonardo da Vinci, the complete paintings and drawings. This is in amazing condition. So I got this for $116. I looked it up online and most of them are going for like 150 to 200. So I actually did get a deal on this. Okay, this one, I really hope it didn't break. I feel like it was probably like a family heirloom. Whoever lost it, I just want them to know that it's in good hands and I'm going to cherish it though. They did a really good job wrapping this. Oh, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. Oh, there's dirt in it. Oh my gosh. <gasps> what if it's someone's ashes? I'm kind of freaking out. Oh, I really hope not. Oh, I just got so scared. <laughs> this is a vintage hand painted Parisian vase. But if you're gonna put ashes in something, it would be something that closes, right? So this is actually copper that's been painted over, but I've seen these on like Etsy and eBay and stuff and they sell for like hundreds or thousands of dollars, so. But the artwork is so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna shine a light in it. <laughs> Okay, I think we're good. It definitely looks like um, some like fake moss and tape. Here's another super unique find. It's from a brand that I'd never heard of called Human Made. It's a Japanese brand and it's actually started by the same guy that started that babe company, but I like this stuff a lot better. So this shirt was $329.99. I think I overpaid for this one because I looked it up online and it's selling for like $250, $275. I loved it. I loved the art on it. I thought it was just like a hunting guy, but it's actually Takagari, which is Japanese falconry. So instead of like shooting birds with guns, ancient civilization would train hawks and owls and birds of prey to go like catch the other birds and bring them back to them. And I bet you're wondering, well, where's the bird? Boom! <laughs> I love this. Well, two down and one to go. As you can see at this point in our journey, I still had the rainbow bag with me. That's because I thought it would be a little suspicious to lose two bags on the same flight. So I wanted to save one for the returning flight. It was Tyler's idea to use this bag and I was terrified because it's such a noticeable bag that I thought for sure somebody would be like, ma'am, ma'am, your bag. <laughs> so I made sure to get on the plane as early as I could so nobody could see me walk on with it. And then as we were getting off the plane, the compartment that my bag was in wasn't even opened yet. So it worked out perfectly. I tried researching incidents of employees stealing luggage, and the most recent thing I could come up with was all the way back in 2019, 
and it happened in my town. And it wasn't technically somebody that worked for the airlines, it was an older lady that worked for a service that transported your lost luggage from the airport to wherever you are once it gets found. So she was actually taking a bunch of those bags and stashing them in her own storage unit to do who knows what with, probably sell stuff. She ended up stealing 20 bags and only two of the owners were found because of course she like got rid of all the tags and all the evidence. It was Southwest Airlines by the way. So if you had a bag never show up in 2019 in Salt Lake City, maybe you're one of the 18. <laughs> Suddenly I'm a true crime channel but only when it has to do with clothing. As I mentioned, there are some very personal things that end up at this store. Maybe things that held people's ashes, <laughs> but wedding rings, cell phones, very nice jewelry. I have had my eye on this tennis bracelet that has been on their website for a year. Someday, someday I'm gonna get it. I also saw these parrot earrings on there and they sat in my cart forever and I just, I couldn't justify buying them, but how cute are they? And of course, wedding dresses. <laughs> so I maybe kind of got one. It was just my size and it's so pretty. It was $599.99. Oh, it still has tags on it. Nicole Miller collection. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh. Why does it actually kind of fit perfectly? <laughs> this is so pretty. The straps are a little big, but it has this lace on the back and then also the lace train. Like I kind of want to keep this for something. <laughs> Not getting married again anytime soon, but I'm just gonna convince myself that like a store was shipping this somewhere and they lost it and it's not somebody's personal wedding dress. I'm also thinking of donating this. I usually donate dresses to Becca's closet and they give dresses to girls in need for like prom and stuff, but I'll have to find like the equivalent of that, but for wedding dresses. So the big question, did any of my bags get returned to me? Hey, gentlemen, are you missing a backpack from today? Yeah, did you find it? Okay. Well, yeah, it came in on the flight with you. I'm just calling because it wasn't picked up. I didn't think it was yours. Um, well... So, are you still in Phoenix? So, when we got back to the airport, we went over to this little office that was by baggage. There it is, just waiting for us. <laughs> oh, you're good. Thanks you might ID or anything like that? No, you're good. Okay. So Thank you. Really he was super nice, super helpful. <laughs> but the question is, is everything still in the suitcase? I've actually heard that it's pretty expensive for airlines to lose luggage. I mean, they have to reimburse stuff. People might try to sue the transportation services to get it back to you and storing all the lost luggage. Like they don't want to lose it, but that's not to say they didn't rifle through it first. Okay, let's see. I thought I was rid of this dress. Uh, oh my gosh. The money's still in here. Literally, that would have been so easy to take. Did they take my diamond and gold necklace? Okay, box is still in there. Moment of truth. There it is. Okay, props to them. I really thought the cash would be gone. I almost made that one too easy. Hi, it's Tyler. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss out on future videos. And in the meantime, I'll link my two other videos that I did about buying unclaimed baggage, as well as some other videos I think you might enjoy down below. And I will see you over in the next one.